Hi, my name is Sandra Brown. I'm a faculty member in Land and Food Systems and I teach courses about soil science. And so today I want to show you a fundamental analysis that we do in soils that gives us an idea of the ability of, of soil to hold water and nutrients for plants. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this soil here and I'm going to add a bit of water to it. And I'm going to try and make a ball or what we call a cast. So you can see it's just a little bit more water here that I'm able to make that ball with this soil. I can toss it back and forth, but that cast is not very strong. It's quite weak. So when I, when I push it between my fingers, it crumbles, it falls apart, and it feels quite gritty. So this is a sandy textured soil. It doesn't hold a lot of water, but it has good drainage. So now let's just uh, you know, quickly rinse off my hands and do the same thing with another soil sample. So I'm going to take this soil here, add a little bit of water to that one, and do the same thing. So you can see that it's already sticking to my hands a little bit more, that this time that cast is a lot stronger. I can toss it back and forth. And in fact, I'm gonna roll it and I can actually make a worm. So I can make a worm here and I bend it and it'll actually hold its shape. So the thinner the worm I can make, the more clay is in this soil. So this soil has a higher ability to hold water and nutrients for plants, but it might not drain very well. So which soil is better? Well, actually the ideal soil is a combination of the two. So whether you're interested in forestry or urban agriculture, uh, land reclamation, knowing this fundamental property gives you a first understanding of the characteristics of the soil and lets us take that step towards how we might manage the land at a particular site. So I'm gonna encourage you to, to explore the soils in your neighborhood, but it's important to remember, it's a lot more to soil, it's not dirt. See you in class.